Okay, I've got the cabinet prepped to the point where I'm ready for some toner lacquer. Did a few rounds with the sanding sealer, sanding in between. Nice and smooth now. All the pores are completely filled in. It's ready for the next coat. Remember, this is the look I'm shooting for. Very dark walnut on the sides, almost black, completely hiding the grain. And then a nice rich brown walnut in the center. Now, it's just one problem with that. I don't have all the products on hand that I thought I did. So, for example, I do have some either universal walnut or uh, some medium brown walnut that I can use on the inside. Now notice that these are the M100 series, which is kind of a, a tan label. These are the dye-based toners. You see the wood grain through these. They take clear lacquer and add some dye to it. So that's great for the center part here. I've used medium walnut before. It's, I think pretty sure that's what I used on that set. Works great. Universal walnut, I've never tried before, but I'm curious to see what it looks like, so I think I'll spray a little test with this. I looked on the color chart, and it looks kind of like an interesting color, but there's nothing like doing a test yourself, so you can really see it up close and personal. And now the problem is the sides. That should be what they call pigment-based toner, or tone finish toner. That's the M101 series in a light blue can. These are pigment-based. They're opaque. They cover up the grain. The reason it's important in a set like this is that, like the sides here, it's plywood. Nobody wants to see that. The various layers of lamination there. And, uh, and that's what they use originally, too. But, almost nothing left in this can. I thought I had at least one more full can on hand. I do not. What I do have is extra dark walnut of the M100 series. I suppose I could put on a whole bunch of coats of this to build it up dark, but I don't want to do that. Laying on lacquer really thick is not a good idea. It makes the surface more brittle and prone to cracking over time. Plus it's a waste of product. The only can of opaque toner I have on hand is brown mahogany, which is also pretty dark and I could probably get away with it, but I don't know. I might do a little test of this to see what it looks like. I think what I really need to do is order up a can of this. I cannot buy this locally. I have to get it to mail order and that will only be UPS ground because this is a volatile substance. They won't uh, put it on an airplane, so it'll take over a week to get here. Plus, all I really need right now is just this one can and that's not going to fill up an order so I gotta uh, look around for a place maybe have some other stuff that I might be interested in purchasing. So I kind of derailed this project for now. Uh, one thing I do have plenty of is uh, gloss. In the past I've used Deft which works fine and uh, I've been starting to use um, Watco lately just because it's easier for me to get. They carry the Menards. It's about half, half the price of the Deft, and it seems to work pretty well, too. Uh, but while I was ordering up this stuff, I wanted to fill out the order, so I ordered up some of this clear. We'll see how that works out. So, uh, at least for now, what I'll do is mask off the sides, and I'll spray this with either the Universal or the Medium Walnut. Here's a little test I just did by spraying various toners on some heavy white paper stock. The top is extra dark walnut, medium brown walnut, universal walnut. So the two outer ones are more like what real natural walnut looks like, but I want more of a brown color, so I'm definitely going to go with that medium brown walnut. I've got this set all ready for spraying on the medium brown toner in the center panel here. I suppose I didn't really need to mask off the sides since they're going to be sprayed with a much darker color anyways. But uh, I kind of want to minimize the buildup of lacquer so it's not too thick. 
so I masked it off. Also seems to be some debate online about this top edge up here. I'm waiting to get back a definitive answer on the Filco forum. In the meantime, I'll mask it off so I can go either way. What I mean is, I've seen some examples where this top strip was the same color as the center panel. I've seen some where it was the same as the sides. Now, I did see one um, authoritative comment that on the Filco 620, which has what looked to me to be an identical cabinet, the top edge should be, definitely be the same dark color as the sides. And I found a good photo of that set. I think it looks really nice. So I'm inclined to really uh, go with that, whether it's technically correct or not. I couldn't really tell from my reference photos before I stripped this. There just wasn't enough of the old finish left for me to tell whether this was brown or very dark brown. All right, so enough talking. So I've got this shaken up really well. Uh, I'm just going to do one really light pass, just going top to bottom, left to right. And if that's good enough, I'll just stop right there. Otherwise, I'll put another light coat. One thing with toner lacquer I've learned the hard way is much better to put it on light and come back later and put on a second coat if it's not quite the right color than it is to remove any. And it's so easy to put this on too heavy, too dark, and it looks terrible. You gotta strip it off and start over again. At least on the one side, fresh lacquer, very easy to remove so you can start over. I think that looks pretty darn good after one pass. I know the lighting isn't that good up here. I'll take it down inside and give you guys a better look at it. Here's the cabinet in some better lighting. After that coat of medium brown walnut, I put on a couple coats of clear gloss that will help protect it when I mask off this section to spray the rest of it. Here's a little preview of that. I used the last bit left in my can of extra dark walnut. Just a to uh, one coat over this section. I uh, ordered up some more from Radio Days. That turned out to be all right because I needed to place an order with them anyways because I need a decal for up here. I'll be replacing the Filco decal that used to be up there. And I also ordered some rubber mounts for the tuning capacitor. The current mounts on that chassis are rock hard. It's really flopping around. So that stuff will be here, I don't know, probably at least a week, if not longer. So in the meantime, I'll just have to move on to some other projects.